Welcome. In front of me is a Techno Pova 5 Pro, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, uh, to get started, I'm going to quickly touch upon the state of this device so you can see uh, clearly it is locked, so I need to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. And uh, I could also use a Google account instead, assuming I don't know the pattern. Now, to get started with the bypass, uh, we're going to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page. There we go. So, right over here. And uh, obviously, you want to be... I, actually, I don't think we actually need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Let me quickly check, just to be certain. Oh yeah, we do, actually, uh, because we do need the sharing code. So anyway, I am connected to my network right here. And next, we're going to click on this QR code. Now I am going to kind of hover my hand over because it's going to... Actually, just going to do it up the screen just to see how it looks like. I am checking for passwords, but okay, it's not there. Uh, so we're going to click on the QR code. Um, like I said, I'm going to kind of hover over it. There we go. And here uh, you have the nearby button. You want to click on it. And then select um, turn on and then at the bottom you have need help sharing text so you want to click on that and this will then redirect us to an article in here now uh, we will now select the three button at the top or three dots more specifically and then select share article and this will give us a couple different ways we can share it we're interested in the Gmail option, though keep in mind we're not going to be actually pressing it, we're going to be holding it. This will then take us to the apps, or this kind of view right here where it allows us to do things uh, with the app. So in here, uh, we now want to go into notifications, right over here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to select notification style. Additional settings in the app, I believe. I'm not exactly certain about this one, though. Uh, so let's quickly check. Yeah, it is that. So yeah, additional settings in the app. And in here, we're looking at uh, the three dots. And then we're going to select help and feedback. And we're going to now search, I believe for delete okay not this oh boy i did mess up just try that again notifications notification style additional settings in the app and we're gonna search for delete uh, delete Okay, delete or disable apps on Android now. If we click on it, will it open up what we need? Actually, it does not. How about this? There we go. Uh, it, it literally gives you a suggestion to an article that you were searching for. Google, come on. Anyway, uh, here uh, we want to select to uh, right here the blue text at top to go to application settings. Give it a moment, it will load all the apps that are running right now on the device. Uh, and also all the ones that are installed and we're looking for uh, Android Auto so it's the second one right here and you want to click on it and then we're gonna select disable so it's right at the bottom disable disable app and first stop okay then we're gonna go back once and next thing we're looking for is the Android setup so the next one below we're gonna select four stop we're gonna go back again. And now we're looking for Google Play Services. So right up here. And again, I'm gonna select Disable, Disable App, and for Stop, there we go. So we have disabled three different things and also for Stop them. So the uh, Android Auto, Android Setup, and Google Play Services. Once that is done, next we want to do is navigate and back to oh, actually right here and we're looking for settings if I'm remember correctly 
Yep. So settings, you want to open it up. And then in here, we're looking for accessibility menu. Oh, we need to enable it, which is in accessibility section. If I can actually find it. So it's going to be right here, special functions. There we go, accessibility. Uh -huh. Not sure why they added specific tab for accessibility when there is only one option there, but okay. Now in here, we have the accessibility menu. You wanna click on it and you wanna enable it. And whoops, and allow, there we go. And got it. And it will add this little button right here, which we can interact with. We're gonna need it for later. Okay. So we have basically prepped the entire device for the bypass now. So next thing we're gonna do is back out. Now, come on, connect to it. Okay, let's try this differently. I'm gonna select forget and I'm gonna resign into it. If that won't work, I will either re need to reboot the device or I'm gonna try a different network. Yeah, let's try a different network. Okay, so in the guide, which I am basing this on, uh, it's uh, telling us that we need to just simply go back. Uh, but there is a little bit of a problem because by going back, uh, the device removes the option to go to the next page and it doesn't automatically go to it itself. So I try to forget about all these and. Okay, so it doesn't want to go to the next page, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to hold my power button and I'm going to select the restart and reboot option if it actually brings it up. Hello. That was kind of odd. It just all of a sudden turned off instead of giving me the options, but I guess it works. Now, what I'm hoping for is it didn't enable the Google Play services and all that stuff, because if it did, it's going to be a little bit annoying and it will mean that this process probably won't work. So we still have the accessibility menu enabled. So we're gonna skip through this. Oh, well, there we go. I was checking out the guide. Um, and it apparently went to the next page. Okay. So anyway, from here, I'm just gonna proceed further. So as you can see, the last thing that I did uh, to actually get this to work apparently was this uh, forgetting the networks and then going back and then proceeding again forward to the Wi-Fi connection page, connecting to it and it went to the next page. Okay, now we will have this page right here, so just a few moments, uh, we will have next the don't copy option, and afterwards we will have the Google basically trying to connect to server servers and check if this device is unlocked, and that's where we will then resume the bypass, so we don't need to wait for this at the moment. Okay, so we'll, like I said, don't copy. Now, uh, now that it's glitching out, as you can see, now we're gonna now click on this little button. We're gonna select Assistant. Come on, Settings. And once it opens up Settings, you can then select Enable, which is the Google Play Services page. So we will need to repeat this till it actually allows us to go all the way through. Come on. Okay, so it's not that I can't see it, it's just kind of not showing up because it's disappearing too quickly. Yep, 
there we go so that took significantly longer than expected uh, as you can see there it is uh, where the lock is uh, before it was uh, enabled once you enable it it becomes uh, disabled anyway once it's enabled we'll now go back once get rid of the talkback right there and it will now progress to the next page so from here it's gonna simply finish up the setup of the device Now there is one last thing that we'll need to do, which is reset the device. Now we do so by going into the settings. Yes, I don't need information on how to use a notification panel. Uh, so into the settings, we're gonna scroll down to, or not all the way to the bottom. Where do they keep the reset options? Come on. Oh, it's right there system and then we have reset phone now the reason you want to do this is because the device is still technically locked so by performing a reset like this um we will force the device to basically unlock itself now uh, what happens and why this is the last step is when you perform a reset through the uh, through settings like this it forces the device to remove all the data including the previously used security like the uh, screen locks and uh, Google accounts, which we would still need to verify at mm, certain occasions here. So we're just gonna select erase all data and erase all data. And I click on it once more to begin factory resetting your phone. Now this will take a couple minutes to finish up and once it's completed, you will then be presented with the setup screen at which point you can go through the setup of the device in whatever way you want because it will be fully unlocked. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.